this your girl tiffany coming to you with a review video um i was i've been using these products and i'm loving them so much that i just thought about the fact that i hauled them but i didn't review them and i just wanted to share them with you guys um and the product that i'm talking about is actually something that i'm wearing on my lips right now and that is the wet and wild fergie collection lipsticks now i know that um you guys these have been all over youtube and there's probably tons and tons and tons of reviews about these products but i haven't reviewed them on my channel so here we go so these products are the new version of i'm guessing the new version of the old um majority of them don't have names they just have numbers um they're all matte um, they're very cheap. You can find the older ones for $1.99 at your local drugstores like Walgreens, Rite Aid, CVS, um, you know, all of those places. But these, however, the Fergie Collection ones, they range from depending on where you go. Um, however, I believe as of right now, let me just tell you, I went and I'll insert some pictures. Um, I went out the other night and I wore Gina. It looks like this. It looks like this. I wore this. I put it on about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I was getting ready to go do some makeup clients. And um, I wore it out. I did. I went and did my makeup clients. Put it, put it on 4 p.m. Put it like this. I didn't take it off. And I mean, I ate. I drank. I talked. I laughed. I licked my lips. And this, and I think I touched up twice. Maybe twice. Maybe it might have been once. Once. So in between four and like seven, I didn't touch up at all. So it was like still my lipstick was still popping. It was no there was no creasing in this lipstick. The color was still vibrant. It didn't look as if it was fading. It didn't look like fading in the middle, you know, like after you eat or drink something. And, and you get like that faded in the middle. It and it didn't do any of that. So I was amazed and I wore like I had worn one of the older color icon ones the day before that and I kept having to touch up I kept having to it was just very and it was very drying on my lips like it was creasing it was just nasty like I tried to wear it without a gloss so or, or a balm or anything so it was just horrible I kept having to reapply I love these lipsticks because I love matte lipsticks but um and not saying that they're a bad product, I do like them, but you have to wear like some type of lip balm or something under these, or it's going to be horrendous. Um, the Fergie collection, however, is I am so in love with these. And the fact I, I bought all of the shades, well, let me share the shades with you for those of you who haven't seen the tons and millions of YouTube videos that I've already posted about these, but hey, whatever. Um, the color that I have, well, one is Serengina. I'm trying to hold like all of them. Um, one is Saragina. It's like a very bright, bright red. And I'll swatch them. Hey, what the hell? That's the swatch of that. The next one is Ferguson Crest Cabernet. And you can watch my haul in these because I think I swatched these before. I don't know. But I didn't review them. So. Looks like that. That's Ferguson Crest Cabernet. It's like a dark burgundy. Very pretty. I am so in love with these lipsticks, y'all. I just had to share it. Fusionista. I haven't even worn this color yet. That's Fusionista. And this is the black lipstick that I wore on my lips in my... um black opal concealer review video these colors are very pigmented oh so creamy i will never oh, fergie fergie daily these are these these two colors this color fergie daily and another one that i'm talking about very very nice nude i love these with the brown lip liner so i wear those i wear those frequently as you can see Next one is Penthouse Sweet. This is actually what I'm wearing on my lips right now with the brown lip liner. It's 
penthouse suite. Divine, divinely chilled. And this one is like a glitter. It has like a glitter in it. And depending on how much you put on, you can kind of feel some of the glitter spec a little bit, like a shimmer. This is divinely chilled right there. But it's not bad. Like it doesn't hurt your lips or anything. Old school glam. It's another one I haven't worn yet. That's old school glam. This one is like a orange reddish color. And the orange lipsticks are in right now. So. And VI Pink. I actually lost the first one that I bought in this color. Couldn't find it. It's somewhere in my house. Couldn't find it. Got mad and went and bought another one. So, this is my second VI Pink. I love this pink. With the brown lip liner, it's gorgeous. VI Pink. And another one of my faves. As you can see, it's almost, it's like it's almost down in the cap. This is Bebop Love. This is like the perfect nude for dark skin. I, ugh. I don't, sometimes I don't even wear a liner with this one. Bebop Love. So, those are the swatches of all the colors. Um... So I was sitting here and I was thinking, like, I was just marveling over how much I love these lipsticks. And then I thought about the fact that they're supposed to be limited edition. So the colors that I don't really wear a lot of, like the red, I wouldn't wear that a lot, like the black. I don't have to go get another one. But the ones like the Bebop Love, the Fergie Daily, the VI Pink, I wear those frequently. So I have to go get more of them. It's just, it has to be done. It's because I cannot, especially the Be By Love and the Fergie Daily. And I'm serious about this VI Pink because y'all should have saw me tear my house down looking for this VI Pink. Like, it's bad for business. So, these three colors, I have to go get more of them because if I run out and I cannot find them, I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, my life is going to come to a complete end. <sighs> <laughs> so i hope you guys enjoyed my review video um if you have not heard about these um i'm sorry like why where are you but if you have um and you don't have all of these then you need to go get all of these because these these colors like i don't know why everybody spends here i go with my mac rant again i don't know why everybody i love mac I buy MAC. I have MAC lipsticks. But that is not the only thing. And MAC is not do or die. As you can see, this lipstick is no more than $4. And I think this is better than all of my MAC lipsticks put together. Just my opinion. If you don't agree, you don't have to. But whatever. So, I hope you guys enjoy my review. I'll post pictures. The first picture is going to be of when I first put it on. And the next picture is going to be of... Uh, I think it's going to be like four or five hours later after. Um, I, and the color that's going to be on is the Serengina, the red. And it's just going to be my lips, so... <laughs> Sorry. But, um... I hope you guys enjoyed my, enjoyed my review video. Um, what I have um, on my face right now. I, I have to do a video about what I have on my face right now. Because it's something that I'm trying. And hopefully it doesn't break me out. And I'll see how long it lasts. Because I'm wearing this to work. So I'll see how long it lasts tonight. Because this is really putting it to the test. But I'll have to do a video about it. This and Let me just tell you. What I have on my face right now is not foundation let me just say that but we'll talk about it so thanks for watching my video you guys oh so just in case you guys haven't commented on my video or seen my video i'm doing a giveaway right now on some next lipsticks and my video give my giveaway will be closed tomorrow so if you haven't commented it or joined the video or um joined the giveaway Please do so because these NYX lipsticks are the ish. So can't wait to choose them. The winner will be posted either Wednesday or Thursday. So um, go comment if you haven't. Bye.